What's up, everybody? This is Mommy Wata. I am back. I hope everyone is doing good at this time. And we're going to freestyle. I hope that that's cool with everybody. But I want to freestyle. Let's just see what pops out. Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to talk about at this time? What type of message do you have for us? Collective message. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Messages from the universe. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what we have the Ten of Swords, my God. And we have the Ten of Cups. And we have the High Priestess right behind that. And we have the Four of Cups and the Moon right behind that. And we got the Five of Wands, child. Can I stop, Holy Spirit? No, Holy Spirit says we're going to take it a step further because we got death right behind that. Okay. We're going to start right there. Somebody was trying to look. I, I started another reading before I cut the camera on 111 for this reading. And I was like, no, I'm just going to chill. I ain't going to speak on it. But I guess the Holy Spirit wanted me to speak on it. Somebody was trying to take y'all out last night. If you were up last night, say you went to sleep earlier than you usually would, and you woke up somewhere between 11 and 1 o'clock a.m., and you was up to about 4 something this morning, that was your ancestors and the Most High having you awake for a reason because somebody was trying to take you out last night. Somebody was trying to change your future, a high priestess. But her offer was refused. And I also want to mention with this 1010, Definitely was trying to end you last night. Caused a major ending for you, okay? But that shit ain't work out. Okay, like she thought it was. With this 11 right behind that. We have the four of cups. Whatever this high priestess did up under the moon last night, this is what I was about to say. Spell work don't just occur. People don't just do spell work under a full moon, y'all. And somebody should have looked up last night. Oh, I looked up last night. So just check the moon phases. That's all I'm going to say. But whatever I'm telling you, I don't know why people ain't getting it. Some people still ain't getting it that you cannot do spell work on divine beings that have awakened to their anointing who are walking in their purpose, in their God-given purpose. You can't do no spell work over these people and stop them if they're walking in their God-given purpose and they're doing what God led them to do. They're going to be protected every step of the way, okay? And that's what happened with this high priestess last night. She found out how protected you are with this five of wands here, Okay? And we have the death card. <clears throat> Something may ha have ended for this high priestess. You know, I'm really hearing passed away. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. That's either this high priestess or somebody close to her, possibly a king of cups, may pass away for whoever she tried to spiritually attack last night. Who was this high priestess trying to fuck with last night, Holy Spirit? We have a six of pentacles, we have a three of swords, and we have a seven of wands, okay? This is someone that y'all, I'm really picking up that this high priestess did spell work against you because of this king of cups death energy. He may be a Scorpio, and she did this spell work because this King of Cups wants to give to you. He wants to make you his family. And possibly he possibly was given to this high priestess. Okay? And I feel like he's already let this high priestess know that he wants to give to another with this Three of Swords here, which is why she felt the need to Tried to end you last night. 10 10. This 10, this 10 10 is just staring at me. Okay, this is why you were up last night because I'm telling you, the Most High, the Holy Spirit, your ancestors, avenging angels, and a few other folks. Okay, 
was really out here protecting you last night from this woman's spell work. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. Whoever you are, we have, and you are this Ace of Pentacles. Okay? They, like I said, you are somebody who is walking in your God-given purpose. You are being obedient. You are asking God to order your steps. Every step you take, you ask God to order your steps. Every day when you wake up, you thank God, your ancestors, the Holy Spirit, and the universe. You, you really are anointed here. We have the four of wands with the king of swords, okay? Your foundation is protected. This is what this high priestess learned last night. She tried to change your future. She tried to end you in your foundation, but someone may pass behind what this woman did last night because some type of avenging angel, a king of swords, he may like the color blue, okay? I'm getting that he may have a beard. We have a two of cups. I don't know why, why am I hearing, I'm hearing that. But this is someone who cares for you deeply. This is some type of passed over ancestor, but this isn't like a relative. This is someone you may have even been in a relationship with or had some type of intimate connection with. Okay, this thing got deep, child. That person has been watching over your foundation. That is who specifically got in gear on this high priestess ass last night. That is who's falling right up underneath this high priestess. This is someone that you had a relationship with that has passed on. Okay? That is your that is an avenging angel of yours and they got in gear behind you ace of pentacles in your foundation last night. <clears throat> this high priestess in the five of pentacles. So either this high priestess is sick and she may pass or somebody in her family gonna pass. Now, what is crazy about this to me is you got one on the 3D who coming for you, okay? Who basically shutting them down about you. And you got one in the 5D who shutting them down about you, okay? That's how divine you are. You got one in the 3D and one in the 5D that ain't playing no games about you. This King of Cups ain't playing no games about you now. That's why this high priestess spiritually attacked you. Because this King of Cups let her ass know that you were who he wanted to be with. He cut her down. He put her in this Queen of Swords position. He may have broke up with her. Okay? Five of Pentacles to the Queen of Swords. She received some truth that really put her in a very debilitated state. And I'm picking up that this King of Cups ended their relationship, which is why she wanted to have some drama with you last night. This one tried to, this one tried to kill you last night. You know, look, I'm just going to keep it a buck. But you a um, Queen of Wands, okay? <clears throat> so that's what she fucked up at. All right, showstopper in the spiritual realm and the physical realm. And I'm not just talking about outside aesthetics either. There's something very special about you. That you got men who have passed over, okay, that still are very fond of you. I just heard baby doll. So you may have, ooh, child, I'm just got a tingle. Lord, if this reading is for me, I thank you, God, for watching and keeping over me because I was up last night. And I just heard baby doll. And what I just also heard was they love your cheeks. You got really big, fat cheeks, pretty cheeks. And this king of swords loves your cheeks. He loves your smile. He loves your face. I'm not going to get emotional. Just know y'all are protected. Y'all are loved. T 
10.01 on the phone, you will always receive justice, okay? You may have Libra in your chart, but you're going to always receive justice. It don't matter what nobody try to do against you, okay? Because you are a baby doll, whoever I'm picking up on. I may be picking up on my own damn self because I know my heart, okay? But I am. I feel like this is somebody else's energy out here because I know I wasn't the only person that was up last night. And I know I'm not the only person that has a past over loved one who I was in a relationship with, okay? That I cared for and I know cared for me. So, and I don't know about this King of Cups energy, but he pissed this high priestess off. And this high priestess really did try to take you out. Like, I'm really picking up on that. 1101 on the phone. And that's why her ass might pass. And if she don't pass, 1111 on the phone, someone in her family gonna pass for what she tried to do. We have the nine of swords. What she, this, but she gonna get it back for what she tried to do against this empress. Okay. <clears throat> what else, Holy Spirit? We have the Five of Cups. Oh, honey. I feel her deep regret. She wished she could do it all over again. And if she could do it all over again, she would not do that. Okay. I'm talking about what she wanted for you. That's about to happen for her. With this Wheel of Fortune here, all over a King of Cups. So what was going on between this High Priestess and this King of Cups, Holy Spirit? We have the Six of Swords. I told y'all this man had decided that he wanted to move on to Karma Waters to this Ace of Pentacles energy here. He told his high priestess, that's who he want to be with. That's who he love. That's who he care for. That's, th that's just who he want to be with. Okay? And she could not take it. What else, Holy Spirit? We have the Three of Pentacles. And what is this? The Page of Wands, look at this. I had to pause for a minute. He told her who he was moving on to collaborate with. He communicated to her that he was moving on and that he was going to communicate to you that he wanted to collaborate with you, okay? And I'm telling you, that brought the hammer down. That that was a tower. That was a tower. That was a major tower. This King of Cups might be a Scorpio for real. Mm, he said, this Ace of Pentacles won't be lonely no more. The song on right now is you won't be lonely. He said, you won't be lonely. You won't be lonely if I have anything to say about it, do about it. Okay, shout out to Joel A. All right. <laughs> but that's what this, that's what this, that's what this masculine is on. Look. Oh, he on his way. This King of Wands to the fool. Then we got judgment right behind that. 1414 on the phone. This man let this high priestess know that he was done dealing with her and he was about to take a risk in your direction and he was free to do so. This man is coming out as a king of wands because of his independence. He's not in a commitment with anybody. He was able to make this decision and move forward on a good foot. Okay, look at that. He was able to put his best foot forward when coming towards you because he's not in any type of obligation or partnership with anyone. He don't owe anybody anything, I'm hearing. What he was doing with this high priestess was non-committal. 
Maybe she thought she was going to get a committed commitment out of it, but he has decided to have justice with you. The justice, the um, judgment card is falling right up under justice. Okay. So she, she couldn't handle it. She could not handle it. We have the seven of swords and the three of cups. So she started plotting on your peace and happiness. She started scheming on how she could destroy this celebration that she knows is coming in the future. She wanted to end your future. She didn't even, this woman ain't even trying to do like no blocking spell or no, but nothing like that, y'all. This woman literally tried to end you, take you out the game completely. 1551 on the phone. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. It's already out here a couple of times. We have the Knight of Swords. She took action, hoping to cause destruction. Destruction for you, though. She the one who is in the tower. She's the one who is had, going to have to fight off this death energy. But I don't think she going to be successful with that. She the one who in the three of swords. Okay. Nine of swords is out here. That's also what she was tr wanting for you. Mm. Anything else you want us to know about this Holy Spirit? We have the eight of pentacles. We have the four of pentacles. And we have the nine of pentacles. <clears throat> Whoever this high priestess is, okay, you do not know this woman. You don't know this woman. You know that king of cups, but you don't know her, okay? But whoever she was, this woman was extensively putting in work last night under this particular moon phase to cause a loss for you, to cause lack, to cause misfortune for you. But this is how you woke up this morning, 1717 on the phone. Okay, this is the energy that you remained in throughout the night when she was going to town trying to cause endings for you. And whoever this King of Swords is for you, he on her ass. Just got a notification. He on her ass. Okay, you know how I was just saying the other reading, people need to stop poking a bear. Somebody poked, it, poked this bear and they woke up the bear. Okay, and that bear, in this case, is the king of swords. And he ain't going back to sleep. Like, bitch, you up here fucking with me? You know, I was in hibernation. Now I didn't have to bring him out. You didn't have to bring me out. They didn't, The Holy Spirit didn't brought him out. Okay, because somebody trying to kill you with spiritual work. Child, any final messages? I'm talking about death is on her ass. We got the Knight of Pentacles, that King of Swords, and that death energy she sent towards you, they on her ass. They stalking her with this Knight of Pentacles. They on her ass. They her shadow. I just heard that. Mm. Look, look at the back. Look at the back of this card. You see how it's like the... The image is like frayed out, like it's blurry. Because this Knight of Pentacles is in the bushes. He is, he right around the corner. He right behind that tree. He in the, he in the car too back from you. You know, like whatever you were trying to put on this Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles energy, whether it was for someone to come and try to take her out in the physical realm or the spiritual realm. That same energy is hovering over this high priestess now. 1919 on the phone. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Any final messages? We have the chariot. And I'm dropping the motherfucking mic. Like I said, them goons on her ass now. Yo goon is on her ass now. Whoever this ex-lover is of yours who passed on, oh, he got you. Don't even worry about it, sweetheart. And I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps you. I hope it gave you some insight and clarity. But always remember, y'all, if it does not apply, excuse me, if it does not apply, 
because this one was a little heavy right here. So please forgive me, but if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.